Hey guys, David Miller here with Jim and I BIM. This quick video is going to be on the clearance transparency of equipment whenever you are applying a material within the system type properties. I don't recommend setting a material within the system type properties, but however, um, some companies do it this way and they struggle with the transparency of uh, clearance boxes and I just had to help a co colleague um, from another company with this um, exact problem and if you browse around on the interweb you'll see that I actually answered uh, this post a few months ago about this topic and it's not very hard to find where people uh, struggle with the uh, transparency of the clearance zones and every single time usually the culprit is is because they're um, trying to apply material to the um, systems properties or whatever that they're trying to do um, not that that is wrong but there's probably better um, solutions because it creates a lot of problems however if that's your company standard or you find yourself in that situation then that's what this video is going to cover is how you can still at least maintain the transparency of the clearance boxes so just to kind of show you what I'm talking about with the uh, materials to the system is that under supply air here right here for the um, systems I have a material um, called supply applied to it so this is how the equipment looks when we first place it into the project but as I start to model uh, ductwork or piping um, to the equipment and this is only happens whenever there's only a single system applied to the equipment if I was to connect multiple systems um, then everything would work but in a scenario where it's only one system applied to the equipment is um, where you'll come into the issues so as I while the piece of dot work everything turns um, blue because that's the color we have applied to the material and to the um, supplier systems um, but the issue comes in when we start um, trying to go into a 3D view or uh, another type of view you can see that your clearance boxes look like a, a solid mass and it's hard to distinguish you know what's equipment what's clearance um, this is what it should look like at least some type of transparency you know it's clearly identifiable that, that that's a clearance zone so now here's a different scenario same uh, piece of equipment but you'll notice that if I draw the um, piece of duct out it turns blue with the exception of the clearance boxes we still maintain our uh, color of the clearance box and if I go in you can see that even though the material has been applied to the um, objects that the clearance box is still maintaining its original color and transparency and the way that I can achieve this and one way that you can achieve this is that instead of making the clearance box as part of the family as in Here, the clearance box is just an extrusion um, with a um, you know subcategory material applied to it and this is a very common way that uh, families are constructed and normally if a material was not applied to the system in that fashion this is a great way to do the um, construction of a family but if you find yourself in a situation then to achieve the transparency is you can alter the family and then use a nested shared um, family so you can see that the clearance box and this 
example is a nested family and then you make that family shared and then whenever you load into the project the family will not the, the shared portion of the clearance box will not inherit the properties from the system now that's one way if you have to maintain a material onto your systems. Uh, but again, if it was me, the ultimate solution is probably to find a different method to control the um, category or items and just remove the, clear, the, the material altogether. Now you'll notice that that still stayed blue uh, in the 3D at least you can get your transparency. And the reason why this maintains blue is because this is part of the family and it's still inheriting the line color of the system settings. So there's a way that you can get around it again probably a better solution is just to remove the um, system type overrides to begin with and find a uh, different way of controlling it such as filters but that's not always the case so hopefully um, this helps you out at least if you find yourself in that situation so until next time guys thanks